Lewis, rebound Ross, game over. Clippers win. L.A. goes the 2-1-1 on the year with the Phoenix Suns staggering out of the gate again. Well, it wasn't the way we planned to start 1-5, but I think we realized we had uh, too good a team and too much experience to you know, have that type of season. You look at Mike D'Antoni over there, and they got to get on the plane and regroup. But Amari got off to a decent start, then struggled the last few times he was on the floor. The biggest factor was Amari wasn't quite ready. We knew that in the summertime. We talked about in August. We're going to struggle until Amari gets back closer to 100%. It's going to be a tough transition to get Amari Stoudemire into this mix. You know, trying to get used to playing with him. A lot of us had never played with him. Myself, Boris, and all the new guys. It was difficult for him. For one, he had played basketball for a year, basically. That was the biggest thing I had to overcome for as my basketball career. Something that took a lot of dedication, took a lot of hard work to, uh, to overcome, and I'm still working on that now. Much more impressively and importantly was his willingness and ability to, to fit into our group offensively and defensively. Murray will just drive it at him, try to jam it. Stoudemire blocked it. Here's Nash off the dribble, screen and roll inside. Vicious throw down jam by Amari Stoudemire. It's also great to play with him because you got those highlights. You don't have to wait for Sports Center. <laughs> You're not going to see too many finishes like this. Just amazing. He's back. It's about staying focused, it's about dedication, and it's about winning. Once Amari did regain his form and his confidence, the Suns got on a roll. You just want to win every game you play. Um, you're not projected it to like, we want to win the next three games. It's just, we want to win tonight. And so instead of thinking about a streak and putting pressure on each game, uh, you know, we're just trying to continue to grow and get better. So the streak was uh, a, a byproduct of our approach and instead of, you know, uh, the streak being the theme of the approach. That was pretty good last night. Um, you know, it's just our defense keeps getting better, and that's just something that we got to keep getting better. We're not there. We can get a lot better. It's seven out of the next nine games are on the road, and um, let's make sure we don't stumble at home at all, and then we'll have a good road trip. As always, the key to the team's success is the play of Steve Nash, who is having another MVP caliber season. Dion taking his time, finds Nash, puts up a three, and got it! 2.1 remaining. He's a special basketball player. Steve Nash, he gets better with age. He will do whatever it takes to play as well as he can play. And he's, he's off the charts right now. On the drive, gets in deep, off the side of our Whammo! Nash shut up the play sensationally. Just give him the MVP award right now. He's playing at a very high level. He just knows when something's needed of him, and he, he steps up to the plate every time. Nash, a three. Shoots it! Nash knocks down the super shot. The MVP award has, has definitely been a huge compliment to my teammates. Um, and they deserve a share in that with me as well. So, you know, uh, in some ways it's totally irrelevant. In other ways, you know, it's a source of pride probably, hopefully, for all of us. After falling short two years in a row, Phoenix players are starting to believe a title is within their grasp. I think that nobody wants to sit there and think about it, but we do have that hunger to, to try and get better every day. Let's make sure, like we talked about before, we're not going to beat ourselves. So if this team comes in like Washington and they did that, that's fine, but nobody's beating ourselves, all right? Here we go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You know, we've been fortunate enough the last two years to, you know, to make it to Western Conference Finals, but now we're trying to get a step further. We've got lofty goals right now, and we, uh, we'll be disappointed if we don't win a championship. Winning a championship is something that, that I always dreamed of. I mean, I literally dream of it. I just, uh, you know, want to win it, and we all expect to improve every year because of the expectations we've set for ourselves.